Hello, welcome to the channel and welcome back to Resurrect Autos HQ. Today guys, we are working on Rex to Riches Car 2, um, the Peugeot 207. Uh, I've made a decision on the front bumper. We'll get into that in a minute. Um, but before we do, just, yeah, just a mass thanks to all the support guys, all the comments I got on the last video, um, and obviously the scan tool that I'm giving away. Uh, everyone's, uh, yeah, everyone's chuffed for it. Everyone wants to, <laughs> everyone wants one. Um, and yeah, uh, you know, because of all your support and all, all, all the comments I get and all, you know, all the, the great feedback I get from you guys, I'd love to give you all one, really. I really would love to give you all a scan tool, job done, but it just doesn't work out like that. Um, yeah, maybe one day um, I can give out a lot of stuff. Um, I'd love to, but for now, only one person is going to win that raffle and that scan tool. Um, that will be on Monday's video. I'll do, I'll do a video of it. I'll do it live. You can, well, not live, but I'll do it during the course of the day on Monday's video, so you can see exactly who the winner is, um, and I'll post it to that person. But yeah, let's um, let's get into let's get into the Peugeot two hundred seven, um, and let's carry on with that. So. Let's do this. Right, okay guys. So, yeah, as you can see, the Peugeot 207 is in the workshop on the ramp. Because I've put it this way, so if we can have a look at this back quarter and corner, um, it does need some attention. Now, looking at it, I think I'm gonna, obviously trying to attempt to pull this bit out here. I'm gonna try and pull this out and get that um, better where it, it should be um, and then we're going to try to sort of you know paint I've got a spray can we're going to try and spray it in uh, and blend it in the best we can uh, color match wise uh, for this for this back corner because obviously it's, you know it's got some marks here it's, it's all over here it's never going to be perfect it really ain't I'm going to do the best I can with it. I always will, and you know that because you've been watching me do what I do and the effort I put into most of these cars. Um, oh yeah, it's not definitely not worth going to the paint shop. It just ain't. It just it's just, just not money in it. And in this type of uh, price back bracket of car, it's just not worth going um, to the paint shop. I've got to try and sort of get this done and and, and myself really, um, which I'm gonna yeah, which I'm gonna. I'm going to try. Um, the bump, the bump, bumper itself um, definitely got a sort of a bit of an issue um, with repairing this. I'm not even going to bother trying to do it, guys, to be honest with you. Um, yeah, it's just, you know, I have, there's a little corner piece missing here of this bumper. I have found it. I have got it. Uh, but it just, made, like, see, can you see the, like, the grill part? is completely smashed up and i'm not going to be able to repair it and make that look any better and i don't want to leave you know i could i could possibly repair this this crack get that repaired spray that corner in and then you'll still have this split and break here so i've went and ordered another bumper complete bumper and it's pretty decent it's got a little bit of lacquer peel on the top here which i think we can sort sort that out but it was £110 for the, for the complete bumper, and that's being posted and sent out to me. Um, and I'm just going to replace the whole bumper, and then we'll sort the lacquer peel out uh, on, the, on the actual bumper. Yeah, um, just because, like, it, trying, trying to get these grills as well off. I don't know if anyone's anyone done this before, but what they do on these ones, they actually weld. They, they pop them in, and, they, and then they weld the actual pieces into the bumper, you can see it's all over it, look. It's down there. And they weld <laughs> the, the, the grill to the actual bumper skin. So, yeah, it's just, I know it's another 120 pound um, in, in parts that's gonna have to add to this car, but I just think, I think it's worth it. I think it's worth doing Spending the money on the bumper and then trying to repair these scratches and these bits and pieces myself, um, and do the best I can with this with this back corner, really, um, and we'll go from there. But 
I'm, you know, I mean, I'm, I'm going to do the best I absolute can with these cars, and I really want to put the time and effort into making them, you know, the best I can. But at the end of the day, you have to, yeah, you have to sort of step back and think, right, well, it's not worth. It's not. There's not enough money in the car to warrant spending the money on on the repairs um, as it is. Do you see what I'm saying? So, yeah. But you know me, guys. I will try the best I can uh, with it. But I'm going to take the wheels off as well. The wheels are clean. We're going to spray the inside of the actual um, the metal rims. We're going to spray all that inside black. Um, on the, all the wheels and then I've already sprayed the covers silver so you know it's gonna it's gonna stand out pretty well it's gonna look smart but I do need to have a go at this this painting um, myself really so let me set you up let's go for this pull first of all let's get this pulled out I'll show you me doing that on a tripod and uh, I'll set you up guys and we'll go for it. There's a little bit here as well. I don't know if I'm gonna be able to do anything with that. But let's get the majority out of it first, which is here. So I'm hoping I can get all that out. Then I'm gonna run up, I'm gonna flat and polish the whole area. And then we're gonna have a look at it um, after that. And then we'll see, we'll see what it's like. Because like, obviously that there's some scratches here, but I think that'll all come out. These deep ones ain't gonna come out. That ain't gonna come out. <laughs> but they might. The little ones there. Then buffs there. We'll see. But yeah, look, a good old flat and polish should bring some of those out. So let me set you up. Let's go for it. Let's see if we can get this corner um, looking a little bit better than what it is. So let's do this. Right, okay guys, let me just cut back in there uh, and just explain what I was doing there. Um, so I managed to sort of glue my tabs on um, and pull it. This was where, where the large area was. Um, and it's come out all right, I'll be honest with you. I've still got the, the line that goes around for the arch. It's a little bit wavy, it's not perfect. It's not perfect, you know. Um, and it's a little bit in here as well which I can't get there because you just saw me take the inner, inner liner off, the wheel arch, and I managed to get sort of behind and tap in here. So that I managed to get that out pretty well. But here it sort of goes up and it stops about that much behind. Um, and then I can't get any further. And this is exactly where it is and it's double skimmed. So I can't actually get to that point. So yeah, I think I'm going to sort of leave it like that. Don't want to sort of make it worse and start, you know, sometimes with this, if you you tap it the wrong way or, or, or you know, do something, it, it, you can actually make it a bit worse and it will pop back in. But for the moment, I'm quite happy with that, that large, this was where, where the large area was pushed in. I've pulled that out and tapped it and, it and it seems to be looking all right now. Don't get me wrong, it's a little bit wavy, but it looks worse on camera than it does actually looking at it i can't i can't actually see there's a little bump here but but yeah you know for the for the age you've got to expect a little bit i'm absolutely gonna do my best with it you know that but this side is absolutely spot on it's just that bloody side isn't it um 
But yeah, let me, um, what I'm gonna do next. So, um, what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna flat and polish the whole area. I'm gonna clean it all off, flat and polish, and let's see what actually comes out um, and comes off. Uh, yeah, we will we'll, we'll see, but <laughs> I'm not holding my breath um, on most of it, to be honest with you. But let's have a go. Um, so I'll set you up, guys. Let's just see how far we can get this out. I'm hoping to get like, a, a, some of that off. This won't come off, I don't think. These scuff, that will probably. This won't. Might. No, I won't. <laughs> this will. So let's have a go. I'll set you up. You see me doing it. And we'll go from there. That should come out. That should come out. Obviously, that won't because that's deep. But, you know, that's why we've got the paint to sort of touch it in. So let's give it a flat and polish first and let's see what we can do with it. So, yep, let's do it, guys. guys so yeah there we go i've flattened and polished it um i used 1500 uh wet and dry wet and dry sandpaper first then dried it off um and then i went over with the um with the compound the rubbing compound uh, this one number number well i call this number one because uh this is the one that i used first <laughs> And it's the, yeah, it's the cutting compound and it just sort of, um, it just moves it about a little bit, uh, the lacquer and um, yeah. So that's what I did. I haven't used the polish, which is this one here. I haven't used this one yet. Um, I just wanted to see what it was going to come out like. And um, yeah, it's got out a few, to be honest with you. Uh, the ones that I thought it was going to get out, like obviously this top one here, that come out, that's done. This one here that was there, that's out. A little bit off of this that's come out. A few down here. Um, but obviously, you know, we, I knew that these, these weren't going to come out because obviously they're deep. You can feel it on your nail. Um, these ones here as well. That one as well. It's a little bit deep. So, yeah, I think that's kind of going to be it for um, prep work, really. So all I've got to do now is uh, tape up this area... I'll tape off this black trim, get that taped up right across, um, and yeah, get it, get get prepare prepare it for the paint, um, which I'm just going to sort of you know just rattle can in some paint. But I want to put some sort of filler, not filler. I want to put some um, uh, undercoat first on this, and it's like an undercoat. It's an undercoat filler spray. Where is it over there? I've done the wheels as well, look, painted in black. I've done the other two. So, but yeah, this is the stuff I'm going to use first. And um, it's uh, it's a primer uh, filler spray. So I'm just going to sort of very lightly sort of dust over this these areas here and here. I don't want to go too mad with this, to be honest with you, the more I do with this, the more uh, top coat paint I've got to use. So, but I do want to address these areas because of, um, you know, they've gone down quite deep. 
Um, I don't suppose the person that's going to buy this car um, is going to uh, is going to really be bothered about sort of the odd mark around the car. I'll be honest with you, but I want to sort of see if I can make it the best I can for them. So, yeah, over here as well, we've got these little these little dinks on here. But uh, yeah, we'll see what the colour lo <laughs> looks like. I'm not I'm not convinced at the minute that this this is going to come out very well to be honest with you i'm not even convinced when i purchased the bumper for the front that it's the right color i just couldn't you know even though i'm matching the color based on the paint code on in here so if you look here the paint code is kmu um and i've Checked and matched the colour code to the bumper that I'm, that's, that's turning up from eBay, but it still doesn't look the same colour. So I'm not convinced that it's gonna it's gonna match. To be honest with you, um, I don't know if you can see that, but obviously the bumper is a very very slightly different colour to this this one this the, the main bodywork. I don't know if you can see that in the, on the camera, but this 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 bumper's got like a like a green tinge to it, like a metallic tin tinge to it. And this one's got like a more of a blue. It's really hard to tell, but yeah, really tricky. I think I may be sort of, um, I don't know. <laughs> Am I going overboard? Am I overthinking it? I'm not sure. I just want to do the best I can though, guys. Do you know what I mean? Like, I, I really do like... Yeah, I want I want to carry on. I want to do the best I can with it and keep, and what's worrying I tell you what's worrying me. What's worrying me? As soon as I start painting the color, it is going to look completely different. My spray can is going to look completely different to the car and it's going to look an absolute eyesore and it's going to look worse than just leaving it like this. Do you know what I mean? That is my concern. <laughs> That's what I'm worried about. I'm worried as soon as I start hitting that and it's made it if, if 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 it does look completely different and completely out, it's got to go to the body shop. If it does that, then yeah, that's it. We're uh, we're gonna be we're not gonna make any money on this car if we do that. So let's just see what happens. You just gotta go with it. Um, let's let's carry on. But I'm a bit of a worrier uh, when it comes to these kind of things. I want to make sure that. Um, yeah, I'm doing the best I can for them. Yeah, so let me carry on. Let's go for it. Let's do this. Oh, God. Right, okay, guys. So, as you just saw there, um, yeah, taped it all up. Um, you can see that it's all been taped up and stuff now. I hit you with a bit of undercoat first. You see me do that. You see me use this. So, basically, what I did was cut out a little slot like that. Um, and then that way, I'm only undercoating the areas that I want to undercoat. It's not, I'm not over spraying everywhere uh, because obviously, the more. You uh, put a primer down, um, it uh, it goes everywhere, so the more you've got a paint. So all I want to do was hit the areas, 
you can see that I've just hit the areas um, with the primer. Uh, and that's why I cut this out and used a board like this. So that way you can spray it as, and then you can move it along and spray where you need to spray. And don't have to spray it everywhere. So, yeah, I thought that was a nice little tip. Um, I found that uh, on another YouTube channel. Uh, and I thought, yeah, all right, I'll use that. So, that's what I did. And then I hit it with a, um, a top coat. The bum part as well, you can see this little bump here has been hit. Don't get me wrong, it really should have been a, a, a bit, bit more rubbing down and sort of a bit more prepping and stuff like that. But I think to be to be to be to be honest, and you know, for what the car is going to be worth, I, you know, I am kind of just just sort of trying to help it um, along a little bit. You've got to expect uh, some sort of. <laughs> Uh, age-related marks. I'm only trying to sort of uh, do the best I can with what, I, what, I've, what I've got and what I can use without going to the paint shop, really. Um, but it's going to need... It's, it's, I think it's been about 25 minutes um, since I've done that. And then now, obviously, I'm letting you know that I need to hit it again with another coat. Um, I just sort of dusted it a little bit. And, and now I want to go over it a bit more. It's all dried. I've put the um, heat gun in it as well to help it dry up. But yeah, as you can see, it's not that bad. Um, this this color bumper is definitely di a slightly different shade to that that color, uh, the bodywork. Um, it, def it definitely is. So that's why I've got two different, I've got two cans and one's for the bumper and one's for the bodywork. Um, but yeah, I managed to sort of get them to match Basically, it's the same. It's the same colour, but it's got this. has got a very slight sort of greeny effect to it, you know, all the way through the bumper. So I wanted to try and match that as best I could. So yeah, that's why I've got two cans. One slightly different shade to the other. Really, I should be sort of taping this off here, and then just spraying that first, then spraying this. But I'm not going mad with it. You know, the whole thing don't need to be done. It's just in little little patches, little pieces. So I'm able to control the rattle can enough to not overlap that there's going to be always going to be a little bit of overspray when you're using rattle cans or, or spray guns but yeah for that for, i think for, for what i'm doing uh it kind of it's kind of working so yeah i'll um i'll set you up let's go for the next top coat um and then i think that's going to be kind of it hopefully and then we need to lacquer we need to clear lacquer it, uh, which I've got here, which is a two, 2K clear lacquer, um, which I'll use um, all over. Um, and I'll go over it with, with the lacquer. I'll go a little bit further um, with the lacquer. And that way um, I can then sort of uh, get the get the, the, bu the buffer um, and then buff it right out once it's dry. But I won't be able to do that until it's completely dry. Uh, at least 24 hours so but you know we can leave this after this point we can leave the car to dry and we can move on to another car or leave it leave it the next go on to the next day whatever but what i'm saying is that i've got to leave it enough time to dry off so yeah let me set you up let's go for the next coat um and then we'll see what it's like after that um if it needs another one or not but let's do this
Right, okay. Um, yeah. <clears throat> to be honest with you, it's not that bad. It's better than what I thought. Um, it's going to be, you know, a little bit different when it's outside in the sunshine. Um, <laughs> so we will see. But you have to try, guys, don't you? You have to give things a go because if you don't give things a go... You, uh, yeah, you just get complacent and sort of don't, don't, you know, you have that mindset, oh, I can't do it, I don't want to do it, I can't do it, I don't want to do it. But, I, you know, you, you guys know, you've been following, you've, most of you have been following me for a long time now. I don't really, <laughs> I don't get a, get a can and start painting the cars with myself, with, with, with spray cans, I'll, I'll be honest with you, I, I just, I just don't, I just don't do it. Um... For good reason, really, because I want to make sure that it's you know a hundred percent and and the cars come out really well. But I think when you're when we're dealing with this kind of low end, you know, like I did with the KA, you know, I did the seals, done some welding on that. Um, I will try and do different things myself um, and stuff like that. But I think for what the car is and for what it's worth, I've all I've done is just done a repair job on it. Really, um, you know. It just, 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 most of you know there's not enough money in the car, and I've said this before, there's not enough money in the car to warrant doing the major repairs uh, and the cost. You have to sort of, you have to get by and you have to do this. And this is what this challenge was all about. This was just trying to, try to minimise the cost um, to see what we can end up with by the end of the year. And this is, unfortunately, this is part of it, um, is doing this kind of thing. But I think the colour match is pretty much there, to be honest with you. It's pretty good. I don't know if that's coming out on camera very well, but it, it is good. I think it's, it's, a, it's a great match. Um, so all I have to do now is obviously wait for the, for the lacquer. I've hit it twice now, the clear lacquer. It, it, I've got no runs in the lacquer. I've looked all over it, um, and it's uh, it seems to be sitting pretty well uh, on the car. So yeah, um, I'm gonna wait wait for it. I'm just gonna leave it now to dry, um, and then what we'll do is we'll we'll flat and polish the, um, the 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 clear lacquer once it's all completely dried. Um, and sort of blend it into the original sort of paint and, and, and lacquer at the top here and stuff like that. Just blend it in. So, yeah. What do you think so far? Um, as I said, I, we don't really going to know, you know, how well it's come out until we get it all back together, basically, all the paper off. Um, and we get it into the into the sun, into the sunlight and, and have a look outside in the daylight. Um, but... You know, oh, what's that dropped on there? Oh, no. Look, something's blown on that. Look, you see it? Oh, God. What a nightmare. It just shows you, doesn't it? Well, I'm working in my workshop, you know. I'm, I'm, I ain't got a spray booth. <sighs> what a nightmare. Don't know what that is, but it's like... It's like fell on it, like a little bit of... Don't know what it is. <laughs> Hopefully, I can get that off, um, flat it back, and rub it down. But he's uh, covered it. It's not too bad. It definitely needed, you know, a bit of filler. I could have, you know, done a bit of filler. I could have. I just didn't know how it was going to turn out. So, um, protecting the actual. Body work from from rust and stuff like that is is you know quite important really isn't it so that's why I don't like it so yeah I don't know guys it's just, it's just let, drop me a comment let me know what you think um, you know there's going to be painters out there I know there's going to be painters out there that follow me or whatever and they're going to grip me and say like you know you should have gone to the body shop professional twenty years experience. God. <laughs> <laughs> and all that, but you know, it is what it is. It's got to be, it's got to be done on this car, unfortunately. So, yeah, like all the, you know, once we we step up into the, into the more, 
the more expensive cars, um, then definitely, you know, I need to make sure it goes to the body shop, paint shop. It needs to go. But once we get out of this kind of zone, we're in a kind of a zone. We're in the sort of, uh, we need to get over that £1,500 um, car mark. And then once we get into that sort of area, then we really can sort of, Putting the uh, putting the money into the time into uh, into into paint and body shop guys, but for now, you know, that's what we've got to deal with. I'm kind of sort of <laughs> talking myself into it being in, into it me doing the wrong thing there, but I, I just don't know really. Um, I'm just doing the best I can. I'm just I'm just trying to I'm just trying to I am just trying to do the best I can with it. It's like I've just you know I've done the wheels, done put this one on. Um, so I painted the behind it black, and then I've painted these these hubcaps, these uh, wheel trims, uh, silver. I don't know why I keep calling them hubcaps. Strange, wheel trims. <laughs> but that's just me. That's just there's just no editing. It's just it's just raw footage, guys. I'm just going along with it, but. Yeah, so that's another video um, on this uh, Peugeot 207. Uh, we are getting there. We are slowly, slowly getting there. Um, but we have to wait for this bumper to turn up now. That's being delivered. Hopefully, in the next couple of days, we can get this get this bumper um, delivered and, and, and fitted. We will see. I don't know. We will see. I don't know, guys. I'm just not. I'm just not convinced that this is going to be a colour match. I'm not. I hope there is. I hope it is. I really hope it is because I've matched the paint code to this, the paint code to the actual um, description on eBay. Um, so, yeah. And it was the only one. It was the only one on eBay that was the right type because the one I've got hasn't got any fog lights each side. So, and there's loads on eBay with fog lights in them, but none... With, with with no fog lights to watch which with what we need. So I'm hoping it's the right one. So there we go. That is the Peugeot 207 back quarter painted. <laughs> I'm just trying to I'm just all I want to do try and do it is t is tie it up. Make it presentable, make it better than what it was. You know, you're never going to get it 100% perfect doing it this way. You're you're ne I'm never going to do it this way perfect, 100%. It's not going to work. Um, I'm just trying to make it more presentable. Um, and that's my aim and my goal um, with this car. Yeah. But there we go. That's going to be the end of today's video. Guys, don't forget to drop me a comment if you've got anything to say. And a thumbs up on the video, really appreciate it. Um, and if you could just keep sh keep sharing the videos, keep you know I've got over two hundred videos uh, on my channel now. From the very beginning, when I was when I was started back at my house in the garage at home as a hobby, to now. Um, so yeah, I've got hundreds of videos. If you go through my play, uh, my, not my play. If you go through my videos on my my homepage on my YouTube channel, you will find all the videos there. And if you could share as many as you can, push it out there, I really appreciate it. But for now, thanks very much, guys, and I'll see you on the next one.